Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem, invocation, and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Supposed to lower the flag. As we begin CPEC, in the heart of all of us is one dream to see our country, the United States of America, rise to greater heights. In World War II, there was a rabbi by the name of Rabbi Halberstam. He witnessed the brutal murder of his wife and 11 children. He spent time in three different camps, was shot, was beaten close to death many times. Finally, he was liberated and he was put in a DP camp. The first Yom Kippur after the liberation, the camp had a visitor, General Dwight David Eisenhower. And they asked the rabbi to speak. And the rabbi, through an interpreter, said, General Eisenhower, Thank you for being the messenger of God who liberated us from our brutal enemies. And number two, he said, please look out and see what is here and remember it because the day is going to come when they're going to deny that it happened. That day has arrived. And General Eisenhower ordered his staff to take thousands and thousands of pictures so that it will never be forgotten. Eventually, the rabbi made his way to the United States of America, and he was taken to see one of the great philanthropists of that time, Mr. Feuerstein. And he comes into the office, and imagine, the man was in his 40s, he looked 70, a battered and beaten human being. And he says to Mr. Feuerstein, I want to build schools, I want to build synagogues, I want to build hospitals, orphan issues, this, this, and this. And he did achieve all of those things in his lifetime. And Mr. Feuerstein looks at this beaten, battered human being and he says, Rabbi, I will do the best that I can to help you. And the rabbi says, Mr. Feuerstein, one more thing. Before the war, I was a very prestigious man in town. I didn't know if I could carry something for two blocks. They wouldn't let me. I was the rabbi. I didn't know if I could walk four blocks because they wouldn't let me. I was the rabbi. And then the war started. And I found out that I can carry well over 50 pounds of cement on my back and not just four blocks, but well over four miles. He says, Mr. Furesty, I am not sure you have yet experienced what it means to do the best that you can. I dare say in this room, the majority of us have probably not yet experienced what it means to reach our greatest potential. May God give us the strength and the courage that we need to do the best that we can and to see the dream that is in all of our hearts become reality to see our country, the United States of America, 
reach greater and greater heights. Amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free And the home of the brave And place your right hand over your heart for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> 